earlier video, we discussed what you should do if your workout doesn't really make sense to you. Well, in this video, we're going to delve deeper and discuss what you do when your entire program doesn't make sense. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, what's up for Clint and the rest of the world watching? It's Irene here, your intro trainer from Be Buff Wellness. And in today's video number third, ooh, no, video number 14, we're gonna talk about your trainer not making your program, your long-term fitness program, make sense. You've had a trainer for a few weeks, and you see that certain things are starting to, starting to not make sense. Now, we talked about earlier your workout itself not making sense. And we also talked about before um, in another video, your workouts are all the same. Now, if you combine those things with a long-term plan that just doesn't make sense, that you seem to be focusing on the wrong things, it might be time for a conversation with your trainer. They may just not understand how to do long-term program planning. And when I say long-term, I'm talking about 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. Of course, in those times, you're probably going to have multiple assessments. You should probably have an assessment every hmm, six weeks or so. What are they basing their long-term program planning on? Are they basing it on the uh, reassessing the reassessments and new measurements that they've been taking? Are they basing it on just from day one to day 90 and going straight based on that. And if you ask them and they don't really have an answer or they're saying, well, you wanna lose weight, we wanna do from this to this and increase your workout time and do this and that. And if they can explain it to you and explain their thinking, great. If they can't explain it, ding, 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 problem number one. If they explain it and it just doesn't sound logical to you, ding, 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 number two. This is a situation where I would go and talk to another trainer and say, hey, this is what I've been doing. What do you think of it? And don't just ask one person, ask multiple and see if you can get a consensus that says, yeah, that person's doing the right thing or eh, no, that person's not doing the right thing. If you have a consensus that says, eh, that sounds shady, I don't think your program is really being designed well for you, that's when you know that you have a trainer who's not doing what's right for you, who doesn't know what they're doing and you need to find someone else. Be an active part of your um, training program design. Don't just have the trainer tell you what to do and do it and not have any sense of why you're, do excuse me, why you're doing these things. You should know what you're doing and why you're doing it and you should have an understanding of that. If you can't explain to a third party why you're doing what you're doing, your trainer has failed you in one, probably the planning, and two, and in teaching you what you need to know about it. And that's a situation in which I would, again, walk away from that trainer because they're not gonna be helping you in the long run. Because we're not just working out for today. You are working out for a goal that's long-term. And so your programming needs to be long-term. You have short-term programming, but you also have long-term programming. The short-term programming is called periodization. Each period leads to another period, okay? And so they add up to a long-term plan. If you don't have that or don't understand it and your trainer can't explain it to you, say bye-bye to your trainer, find a new one. So that's all I've got for now, guys. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time to come out here and watch these videos. I've been trying to keep them as short as possible for you. If you agree or disagree with anything I said in this video, please comment below. I want to hear what you have to say. Like this video and then subscribe because what? we're up to one more. We have one more video in this series. And then it'll be done and it'll be on to something else. So thank you. Have a great day, and I'll catch you on the rebound. Peace.